Hero with First Descent into Legend. Um, coming back after a little bit of a snafu, um, I was trying out some new recording software. And in the process of trying to take some new videos and test out the light and dark, the first four, actually it was the first like seven or six episodes or something, came out a little dark every time it was nighttime out, so I was trying to find a better recording uh, software that, you know, would, would capture the, 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 you know, the, the actual resolution and gamma that I see. Um, I was using Raptor and I'm just not happy with it because it, it, every time it got night out, like, the video became a completely indecipherable. You could not tell what, what I was doing, what I was looking at. Post-processing effects just washed out the video. So, in the interest of not, uh, going too far into detail, I wound up losing a couple of episodes. I've uploaded the first four. That's going to be the first, I guess, we'll call that the pre-season. Pre-season one. Because we're going to be restarting the season, we're going to be restarting the world. Um, I just got done reading the background story on this on the ImperiumGame.com slash story website here. Uh, they have a very long involved story about, you know, the, the history of the world and everything going down and resources, you know, dwindling and, you know, political problems and it, everything just gets crazy, polarized caps melt, sea levels rise, and, you know, years pass, some spaceships found under the ice, and they figure out what it means, but can't really get the technology working right, and you get, basically, you're the main character, you're the, 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 the commander of the MS Titan that winds up crashing, that, that you are the only sole survivor, you're the only one who got to an escape pod, I guess, I don't really know how they justify that one, it seems a little crazy that, you know, all of the crew, I think they even say it here that, um, yeah, basically, like, the, the entire crew is just dead, all of the passengers, everybody, and you are the only survivor, like, it destroys the ship, kills the crew, you're the only survivor, um, it seems a little odd that you're the only survivor, considering the size of the MS Titan. Um, I believe we we will see that in an upcoming video. Uh, I was going to restart this on Omicron, but um, I think I just should restart this on Aqua for now. We're going to do that. Um, it, let's get this started. So we are going to... Um, I'm not really sure why this is called this, so we're going to delete that. We're going to call it... Um, call it that. YouTube LP World. We're going to get us a, ourselves a random. Let's click it three times. Set it. We're going to start on Aqua. This is a very Earth-like planet, kind of like the world apparently that we destroyed in the in the uh, storyline there. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's start this up. Um, the gravity slightly less out of Earth. It's temperate. Like, the, the weather's pretty good. For a helmet because the atmosphere is breath breathable that's a really good way to start it off it'll actually speed things up a little bit for me because i won't have to be wasting so it'll make the lp go a little, a little faster if i start here i'll get to space sooner less worrying about oxygen constantly um so here we are in our escape pod plummeting towards the planet this is probably going to hurt i found the ore thing on the way down we are rolling. Oh, I didn't get lucky. Last time I last time I leveled up before I even hit the ground. So, here we are. Um, let's figure out how to put everything that we want here. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna use half of these things. Just gonna organize the inventory a little bit. And I think everything else can just kind of stay. We're going to explore for a tiny, tiny bit. Mostly because um, I really don't want to set down right where we land. So let's do this. Okay. Can't take that apart, can't do anything with it. So where are we? We are... Um... 
About at the equator, it looks. Uh, so it rises in the east and sets in the west. If the sun's going to set in the west, we should head west. So let's start by picking up some stuff while we go. We're going to need stuff to make coffee. Because using the water would be foolish at this point. We're going to need some meat. So, um... Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. It's not personal. I just need experience points, which I'm about to get out of your ass. Alright. So heading west. If you note this timer in the upper right hand corner that says the, uh, it's got a picture of the sun going down, that time should be going up if I'm doing this properly. I'm trying to get more daylight. So, like, if I went up even running into the dark for a few seconds, that would be, that would be just fine for me. Because the night time is when the, uh, slightly scarier inhabitants of the planet tend to spawn. We're gonna grab a couple of these things, because we want them to expire. Let's just go west. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> there. I could have, uh, could have sucked if I had actually gotten hurt. I'm starting off kind of early here. I don't really have a whole bunch of stuff. Now, these little plants here are sugar cane. They kind of look more like cattails, but I'm not going to complain. I need them to make recipes later in the game, and I found out that when you run out of them, it's kind of a pain in the butt to go get more. So I'm going to be stockpiling them with plans of leaving this planet soon. I found a single silicon deposit, and that's just not enough for me. Uh, we need to find some place that has more stuff. There's an iron deposit, and a titan. Alright, that looks like that's going to be our starting point. There's silicon not too far to the east, I think? Yeah, northeast. And there's iron right over here, and there's a titan there. We might even get some uh, guests come flying through. So that's going to make for some interesting shoot 'em down times once I get my base up. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have all of the stuff for my base ready before I start picking... St I'm going to stop picking stuff up actually too. I'm, I'm going to need my inventory spaces. Alright. We're going to get as close to this thing as we can without being directly on top of it. Oh, there's another iron deposit. Oh, that is that is a that is a beautiful thing. All right. And there's a nice little field here where we can gather plasma. Oh, this is, this is going to be a great start.
I just got done setting up all of the stuff that I'm going to need, basically, to not die. I don't know how to put that in a fancier, in a fancier uh, set of language, but uh, there you go. Uh, let's see, we leveled up a little bit when we uh, were running around picking stuff up. I might have cut some of that out, so I figured I would just uh, go over this. Uh, I found a couple of nodes, I decided to pl put a base down uh, because of this area here. I have uh, an iron deposit up there, I have another iron deposit there, there's a silicon deposit to the east here somewhere, and there's an MS Titan, which was the... The, the ship that we were talking about in the uh, intro here um, is crashed up there, one of the pieces of it, I believe. Um, so I figured it was a, a pretty good spot to set up camp, not too far away from the uh, crashed and, and apparently well guarded. We already have a mini gun and a cannon drone there. It's a little bit Never have too much meat. <laughs> All right, so we are probably going to go after, well, pretty much anything we need for the meantime here, um, which is going to be a little bit of everything. But we're going to start by getting ourselves some um, some levels here, because we might be able to buy some better things, like this remove and repair tool, which is going to be a huge deal. Uh, the assault rifle, another huge deal. Those are two things that you just, like, right off the bat, just take take those two things. I don't, I don't care what you're doing, just grab those two things. Just don't ask questions. Don't. Um, water generator, you're going to want that. Um, we don't really have an abundance of points here, so I'm going to try and keep it simple. Um, we're going to want a fridge. And I have enough for the cannon turret, but it's not going to matter because I need the ammo box and I don't have enough for that. So there's no point in buying that yet. Um, I have no other weapons. I don't really care about any of these tools. Uh, this work light's good, but I can't get it for another, like, four levels. So, we're skipping that one out. Um... Let's take a look here. I don't see anything else. We might just save these five, uh, five points for next level. There's probably going to be something I'm going to want more than whatever is available now. I got everything I wanted. So let's go here. Can I make... Oh, I can make the assault rifle and the remove and repair tool here. Oh, but I put in so much stuff. So much stuff. But I'm going to need all of that stuff, so there's really no point in trying to skip past that point. I think I'm going to pause the video here. Let some of this stuff go. It's probably going to be nightfall by the time we come back, but if it's not, I mean, I've, I've got six hours worth of daylight left. I could go and attack that place, but I don't even have a base up. Like, I don't, even, I don't, ha I don't have even a home plate here. I don't want to get too far away from this place and not remember where it is. I mean, I know it's just south of the base, but eh, usually when you go and attack these places, that's when you start getting drone troop transports and stuff like that, which is weird because it's selective. Like, I've had this before where I've attacked a bunch of these, like, little crashed points of interest, and it hasn't been an issue. But when I go and, you know, on, on certain servers, the second you get near a drone, you just start getting attacked by the drone troop, transfer, troop transports. So, um, yeah. Not really sure how that works right now. But, you know, whatever. As they say, it's pre-alpha, so. Um, alright, well, we're gonna pause the video, and we'll come back.
Alright, we're back. Um, I have taken the liberty of doing some farming there in the back. I um, went to one of the iron deposits. I cleared out several hundred um, units of iron. Um, just trying to preemptively get all of the crap we're going to need because I'm planning kind of a big build here. Uh, the one thing I do build every time I get into the game, even if I play ten times in a row, is I, I build my base. Um, so, what we're getting ready to do is actually just that, build the base. We have picked this spot here. Um, I particularly like this spot because I've got a shallow pool right here, so I can put like water generator and um, hydrogen generator down there. Um, Oh wow, one of those slime things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go here real quick. We're going to put out a platform. We're gonna start with a nine by nine. Um, if if you watched my first couple of videos of the series, that's my little modular plan. I make nine by nine rooms, and then if I want another room, I just poke a hole and put another nine by nine room on it, um, and I make it three high inside. So that I can put, um, I have plenty of room for to stack things on top of each other and whatnot. Um, it's very modular, kind of. I think I said that already, but um, you'll see. Um, I'm probably going to uh, time lapse this build because this is going to take a while, but not as long as it would in some games because we've got this nifty little uh, build tool here which allows us to place a whole bunch of blocks at once so we will be um, time lapsing see you guys in a few minutes here are back. Um, ran out of, kind of ran out of um, panels here. We got a pretty decent amount to start off with. We'll make more. Right now we're waiting for the important stuff to make. We got the basic 9x9 nine nine down. We were, I was just trying to get a little extra so I could make a wall on the 10th. The, the 10th tenth, tenth block will be a wall there, so. It seems a little ambitious, I know, but you know. It is what it is. So we're going to need to make all of this stuff here. Um, we did level up again. So we're going to go here and see what we got while we're waiting for stuff to finish building. I'm going to be cutting out chunks of this beginning of this, um, this build because, I mean, I showed a lot of this last time even though it was a little dark. Um, this stuff's not particularly complicated, it's just a basic build tree, get resource A to make resource B, use resource B to make, you know, multiple of these types of resources and combine them to make this other thing, and it's got tiers, and depending upon the rare crafting stuff, so, I mean, you know, you make nicer and nicer things the farther away, you, you know, you explore this, um, this galaxy here. We're basically somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy. According to the stories, so and I think if memory serves correct, I'm not an uh, astronomer here, but um, Andromeda Galaxy I think is one of the closest galaxies to Earth. If me I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up and get back to you guys next video. Um, I believe it's it's one of the closest believe you know uh, galaxies that's believed to be inhabitable. Um, we will have to. We'll have to look up on that, because uh, that that would be kind of a cool premise for the game, I think. Um, but yeah, so we have a fairly decent amount of uh, time here before all of this stuff finishes. I'm going to probably cut the video a little... Well, I'm not sure if this is early or late, because I have a bunch of footage I might be time-lapsing through, and that kind of adds to the video, so... We're just going to end the video now. How's that? Um, 
If it's a little long or short, I apologize. Um, we're going to get some of the basic stuff done, get the base up, do all the boring stuff. Might even mine a little bit more iron. Um, and then we will come back and do episode two. Uh, as I've stated before, if, if you guys are watching the videos here and want to see the mining, I will, I will include it. But I'm cutting it out because it's kind of boring and there's a lot of it. So, I mean, it's, it's cooler than a lot of other games. I mean, you get these, these mining gun things. It's actually, the reason I can't go mining anymore is I blew all of my, um, mining charges. <laughs> Uh, getting the what little iron I managed to get actually I only got 90% of 43 42 which is I think only about 430 iron give or take it means 10% yeah so I got about 10% of that so I got about 430 iron ore no 445 here um, and that is going to be gone by the time you guys uh, see next video so <laughs> um, and hopefully We'll have a little bit more than a platform. We'll have some, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make sure we have at least the basic stuff up. Um, and probably going to also make sure that I make a lot of these components here. I like to stop at some point, and I know it's boring, but uh, until you get the advanced constructor, which actually does all this stuff for you, and you don't have to think, you just click on what you want, and if you have the base materials, it will craft the components and their subcomponents in order to actually get you the whatever you clicked on. It's 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 wonderful, but you can't really get it. Like I said, the the higher tier things are made from ore from other planets. So until you start, until you actually get into outer space, you're not. Especially if you start on Akua, you're not going to get neodymium or sathium. Sathium's like asteroids mostly. Neodymium's largely like on the moon. You can find some if you like attack random bases around, and we will be doing some of that. You will see videos of that coming up. Um, you can get some rare stuff. As a matter of fact, you, I think you can even find power coils and another survival constructor like this. This thing I'm in here, you can actually find another one of these, which is awesome because you can actually take it with you to another planet. And if something happens and you get screwed, well, you have a survival constructor. Just toss that, toss that thing down and, you know what I mean, restart. As long as you're on a planet that has water, that you'll have absolutely no problem. But at the very least, if you're smart and brought enough materials and they didn't get destroyed when your ship or whatever got disabled, um... You, you should be able to get up enough stuff crafted quickly enough and, and even if it's just a basic base with an advanced constructor on it you know what I mean and you should or not a an advanced a basic constructor on it um, you should be able to build everything you need and get off world before you you know you get slaughtered you should have enough ammo I mean I have none on me right now but we just started so um, that's another thing next episode you will see I will have the assault rifle um, repair tool, I'll, I'm going to get some charges for the drill and the repair tool because the repair tools are going to be a huge part of assaulting these points of interest. So I'm, I, I was going to go out and record that on this video, but it's kind of over. So um, <laughs> we will be doing that probably next video actually. Once I get everything up and running, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of mining and then assaulting some points and showing off some new build stuff while I adapt the build and make the base cooler. Um, but that that's going to come up. There might even be a cannon up um, by the time the next video starts. I'm just going to get most of the basic boring stuff out of the way. Um, if you watch the first couple of videos, you can see me placing stuff and putting the cannon up and getting the ammo box and filling that, you know, crafting the ammo and making sure the ammo box was full. So, uh, you know how that works. It's not entirely complicated. It's pretty pretty intuitive. That's actually one of the things I like about this game. I tried uh, Space Engineers, and, it, and it's really cool if you like the building stuff. I'm not really that into the building stuff. So I like this game because it's more like get in, craft some basic stuff, go out, kill things. Really, really nice for me. You know, my, my simple monkey brain can understand that. <laughs> kill things. Okay. Um... But yeah, so we will we will cut this here. Enough of my rambling. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff out of the way, some waiting out of the way, maybe some mining out of the way, and uh, we will catch you guys in episode two of season two, I guess. Yeah, skirt. We're doing season two. All right. Until then, stay frosty, space cowboys and girls.